What's up, y'all? This is really all back with another video. Yes, sir, uh, and today we'll be discussing Luka Doncic MVP case for this NBA season. You might be asking, why am I so excited to say Luka Doncic MVP case? This is why. For me, Luka Doncic is one of my favorite players in the NBA. Now, a lot of people know my top three of all time is Ray Allen, John Wall, and Luka. And you might be asking, why is those three of all three your favorite? Is because I just love how they impacted the game. I love their game style, and I just loved how they came to a game every day. Now, I know y'all might have y'all John Wall jokes, but I don't care because he is still my favorite point guard of all time. Now, back to Luka Doncic case. Luka Doncic, this NBA season, in his second NBA season, has been putting up numbers such as 28.8 points per game, 9.5 rebounds per game, 8.7 assists per game, with a usage rate that is second highest in the NBA with 29.10 PER. And you say, what's so great about that? What's great about that is that he's six in points, he's 15th in rebounds, and he's fourth in assists as a shooting guard who really plays a point guard, who can be slotted at the small forward, and he is so dimensional in the NBA. Now, with that being said, you must realize that Luka Doncic is literally changing the game. You say, how is he changing the game? Being someone who is a second year player from the Euro League, he is literally showing you that it does not matter what country you play for, coexisting to your rival to the NBA, you can still put up elite numbers. Luka Doncic has been playing like a superstar. Yes, he is out with a minor ankle bruise, but it does not matter because me and you both know when Luka Doncic comes back, it's over. Dallas Mavericks, when they come back, is going to be in the playoff. When they come back, Luka Doncic will once again show y'all that he is an impressive player. And to be honest, he doesn't have to once again show you because everybody in the league has noticed him and they understand Luka Doncic wasn't a fluke. Luka Doncic wasn't something that was just a parody. Luka Doncic wasn't something that was trendy. Luka Doncic is the future and he is what the NBA will be in 10 years. Mark my words, and to be honest, you won't even have to mark it because that is how factual of what Luka has to be in the NBA. Now, a lot of people might be asking, that is a lot of bold statements. How are you able to say this about Luka? The proof is literally in the pudding. Anybody that likes basketball, anybody who says they cannot live without basketball, you understand that these type of numbers that a player can do in their second season is so impressive. It is so impressive because a player that is so young, a player that technically has had experience playing with grown men at an early age, but still is young enough in the NBA where he technically should not be putting up these numbers, and you realize his effectiveness on the court, you realize how lethal he is as a second year player to other elite stars, and you witness how much better he is to players we have attributed to as stars and superstars, and you realize that Luka Doncic literally is the future. Now, once again, you ask, is this all a part of his MVP case? And I say, yes. You say, why? Because Luka Doncic is showing you why he should be MVP because he is putting up these high numbers as a second year player. Luka Doncic has showed y'all and has answered everything you said he couldn't do. Now, the weakest part of his game is his defense, but if a player is getting that many points, getting that, that many rebounds, and passing the ball that efficiently, forget defense. Just get some defensive players on the team to guard his responsibility because honestly, who cares? Because Luka Doncic is literally doing everything else, so why punish him for just the defense? Because there's so many other players who don't even play defense themselves, or at least the high level where you're trying to pin Luka at. Which means, if that's the case, Luka Doncic has showed y'all, even with these minor injuries throughout the season, why he is and can be the MVP for the 2020 NBA season. So, with that being said, if you liked today's video, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to hit that notification bell for more amazing content. And we are on that ground. We are on that official ground to 150 subscribers. So, with y'all help, 
with y'all help, I know I can get there. So, with that being said, Gus.